God. Much better. Well, hello, everybody. Let me lower the music a little bit. And uh, just before everybody gets here, I have a couple of announcements to make. And the main one is that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm releasing a new CD. I'm basically just, uh, you know, all the, the new songs that you, you have, guys haven't had on CD yet. But I'm, I'm putting them uh, together with a compilation of some of the other stuff. And um, I just uh, sent the order yesterday, so they should arrive in a, in a week or two. And uh, the CD is ready for um, for pre-order. By the way, if you want to pre-order it, free in my RV.com. And it's available everywhere already, like in Google Play Music. That's where I'm playing it from, Google Play. And it's available in Spotify and uh, pretty much everywhere else. So there you go. And let me turn off this music so we can uh, chat. I just wanted to make that quick announcement here at the beginning uh, because... Uh, I decided to to make uh, all all the new music available everywhere. So if you if you guys go to, for example, uh, CD Baby, uh, in CD Baby you're gonna be able to to hear uh, all the music I created a new album called the Free My RV. But that same album is going to be everywhere else. And also I went to um, and check it out. This is really cool what they've done. Uh, you know, they, they made a, a 3D animation of what the CD is going to look like. So that's really cool. Oops, what did I do here? Ooh. So, um, you know, I wish it would move, fast, move faster, but there you go. And that's what the CD is going to look like. And this time I put more pictures and more graphics and stuff. You know, make it pretty. And... Uh, that's gonna be available around uh, April fifteenth. I would I want to say, although yeah, I'm, I'm taking orders already. If you guys are interested in that, anyways, uh, let's um, let's go to our chat and uh, hello everybody. And I want to thank every uh, single one of you for being here today. As always, it, it is always uh, great uh, to chat here with uh, with uh, all of you uh, in this. Uh, in this YouTube, in our, our customary our Friday RV chats, of course. Uh, let me see who's here. Let me go through the chat here real quick. And um, Alex Cruz, thank you so much for that um, super chat, which uh, I missed uh, when it was going live. But um, thank you so much. Uh, we've got here, uh, he's getting his IPA ready. Oh, the IPA. Check it out while we're drinking today. Today we are drinking Funky Buddha Hop Gun, which was originally from Boca Raton, and then they they relocated their their factory to uh, Oakland Park, uh, Oakland Park, which is kind of north of Fort Lauderdale, in that area. Uh, the CD is going to be ten dollars, uh, uh, shipping included by the, included by the way in the U.S. for uh, Ted Wong, and uh, international. I'm I'm charging two dollars extra for Canada because shipping is a little more, and then I'm charging two dollars more for uh, the rest of the world. I mean, unless you live like a, in a really far away country that that is really expensive. But even Australia, I I believe is it's I, I can deliver for fourteen dollars. So um, it's ten, twelve, or fourteen. Ten U.S., twelve uh, Canada, and fourteen for the rest of the world, and on, unless. Um, Unless, as I said, there is a, a problem and I cannot ship it, and then I'll, I'll get in touch with you. Maybe I need a couple extra bucks. I don't know. Let, let me let me open this up. I'll be right back, real quick. And for those of you trekkies or trekkers like me, this is a Romulan Ale uh, <laughs> a bottle opener, and you will not guess where I got it from. So everybody, salute, cheers, happy Friday, and uh, here we are. Mm, yeah, that is the good stuff. I love Funky Buddha. Okay, let me let me check out some of the older um, messages here. Today you don't have so much viewer. Well, at the time you wrote that, not, but now I have 99. Of course, it is the uploader. Uh, <laughs> Alex Cruz, thank you so much, everybody. 
hello, hello, hello. I'm tr I'm trying to go through everything real real quick. If I don't mention your name uh, by by name, it's it's just too too many of them. And Luke Stein, I'll be in Miami tomorrow. That's great. Uh, we're enjoying our great weather today. Uh, off to Good Friday service. All right, Ted, Ted Denman. And uh, are you on now? Yes, I am. Any local... Oh, man. I missed it, uh, Alex. Something happened here. In the local RV stores, you recommend local? There's not much, man. I don't even think that the local uh, Bass Pro shops uh, are any good. But I, I buy everything off Amazon or off Camping World online. What, what, what do you need to get? Uh, will, will it be on iTunes? Yes, it's going to. Be, it's not on iTunes yet. I, you know, Apple takes forever for everything, and longer than everybody else. But it's going to be in iTunes in the next couple of days uh, for sure. Uh, play a couple of samples. Yes, of course I will. Uh, what kind of job do you do? Uh, I, I'm a YouTuber. How much for the CD? Well, I already said that. Uh, Robert from Massachusetts. Tent. Uh, I'm from West Palm Beach in Deltona. 55M. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What's 77? From Ontario, Canada. We have people from Rotter Rotterdam in the Netherlands. All right. Did I miss something? What are all the numbers? 66, 77. What's that? Michael Krastek. I don't know. Kelly Clark, I'm ordering the CD always. Thank you. Thank you so much for the, for the support. It's Silver Horse from Tampa. The new CD going to be on Spotify. Yes, it is going to be everywhere. Uh, and uh, for those of you who purchased the previous CD, uh, I mean, I, I haven't composed uh, all that many new songs, so a lot of it is the same. I included some of the stuff that I didn't include on the on last year's uh, CD. Just, uh, but of course, Music City and uh, all, all the main songs, you know, uh, Riding in My RV. I, I did remix Riding in My RV. I made a, a newer version. Yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, block. Uh, well, if, 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 if everybody behaves, I'm not going to block anybody. <laughs> Uh, hello, uh, what I did, I, I, the, the, the last year's version of Riding in My RV, the one that I extended, uh, I wasn't uh, all that crazy about the sound quality of my voice, so I remixed it. It was a little overmodulated, so I made it a little better. Still not perfect, but uh, yeah. Okay. Remove uh, hide user. Can I hide user? Yes. Can you play some songs as a sample now? Yes, of course. Like, uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna let me, let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the screen uh, of the. Um, you should write a song about Cuban coffee. <laughs> I sh certainly should. And Bay Border, thank you so much for that ten dollar super chat. I will say hi to Eliana, of course, my wife, and uh, uh, she actually went to get her hair done. We sing your songs in the car nowadays; even the kids enjoy them. I'm, I'm really glad. A lot of people have told me that their kids love the songs, and that's a great compliment uh, because that's usually the the, the hardest uh, demographic to to please nowadays. So. Uh, Steve Williams, how did you learn to play all instruments? Well, it's a long story. I had a piano teacher when I was like seven, uh, you know, back in the in the old country. And then uh, when I was uh, early teens, maybe 12 or 13, I, I traded the piano for the guitar because it was a more popular instrument too. And it was uh, easier, you know, to play like uh, at parties and stuff. Not everybody had a piano, but I could grab my guitar and take it everywhere. So that's... That was my beginnings, and I'm not like a virtuoso at any of the instruments, but I did learn music theory, and I, you know, and, and a lot of a lot of it is by ear, to be honest about it. How did um, and then here in the early '90s, I played in a salsa band. I've played you guys videos of that, of all that stuff. When you're bringing back the cooking segments, well, in the next video, there's gonna be a cooking segment, uh, for sure, and in the one after as well. 
Uh, but I'm not gonna make any any cooking videos by themselves because for some reason a, a, a lot of you guys uh, want to see them, but they don't they don't get as many views or likes as as my regular travel videos. So I'm just gonna include them as, as part of the travel videos for now. And um, what is the music you used on i 5 North? i 95 North. Are you talking about uh, which uh, video? The one that we went to New York? I, I think that's one of my older songs. I, I, I think it's just called uh, Road Trip uh, Part 1 or something like that. Would you suggest Calle Ocho? Calle Ocho for what? For like um, restaurants or the festival? Actually, Calle Ocho uh, is, is, is not the... Some some parts of it are, are parts of it are not the best neighborhood, but if you go in between 13th and 15th Avenue, that's like the touristy kind of area, and they have a bunch of places that are very nice. Uh, do you use Cubase or Pro Tools? I use Pro Tools. I've never quite learned Cubase. I used to uh, use something back in the day. I'm dating myself here. Uh, it's called Cakewalk, and then uh, I use Pro Tools for the most part and Logic, uh, Logic to compose Pro Tools. Hey, this traveler, new CD, what? Yeah, man, I'm, uh, I, I, I decided to order the CDs. A great cooking segment could be arroz, huevo frito, and plátano maduro. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, sure, we could do that. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm a bad Cuban because I'm not really a fan of plátano maduro, which is fried, fried ripe plantains. And um, I, I, I prefer the plátano verde or, or the, the green one, you know, like, the, like tostones or um, mariquitas or or fufu, or in, in Puerto Rico they call it mofongo, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. The, I, do you have a fly pelican fly songs uh, song? I I don't know, man. I've, I've been thinking about it. Uh, I, I don't know what how, what to make it. You know, maybe I should get a sample from Tony Montana saying fly pelican, and uh, or I'll use my own voice. I don't know. Um, how old are you? Uh, oh, I'm getting old. Uh, I'm 40 something. I've lost count. Cool shirt. What do you like? My shirt? Uh, Mammoth Cave National Park. Uh, that's uh, that I got when I went to. My kids also enjoy your videos. Thank you so much. That's cool. Super cool. I was testing my furnace and it keeps blowing a 15 amp fuse. I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. Maybe something wrong with your with your fan, the, the, the fan in the furnace. Maybe you need a, maybe you need more amps. I, I'm not certain, to be honest. Uh, I think I can speak for many here. Please do um, do. Uh, oh, I missed it. I lost it. So some Cuban food. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to do some some more Cuban food for certain. Maybe I'll do some ropa vieja next time or some picadillo. I've done the picadillo. I did it from the from the rest area from the Walmart. Arrived late this afternoon. How are you, Robert? Capital Bravo. Hello there. If I would visit the states, would you? Uh, we would like to rent an RV. Do you have some advice? Well, the the the, the, the two main companies that rent RVs are El Monte. And uh, El Monte and um, and Cruz America. Cruz America is the one that have the, has the pictures of the Grand Canyon on the side, <laughs> that you can tell from a mile away it is a rental. And there's there's also um, some uh, other rental places that are like the, like you know like an Airbnb kind of thing. Like the one is called Campanda, I think. And the other one is RV Share. With disclaimer, I am a, I, a, I am an affili affiliate. If you look in the description of the video, RV Share is very expensive, but you you have a lot of choice from RVs, you know, that other people uh, rent to you. Uh, uh, riding in my RV, that's where we want to be. Yes, James Gabriel, we are drinking some Bud Light Platinums. I'm drinking some uh, good old Funky Buddha. It's very good. When are you driving to Alaska? That's going to take a couple of years. I don't know if Kia is up to the task, to be honest about it, my, my tow vehicle. So it's going to be at least two years until we make it to Alaska, to be realistic about it. Um, so I'm shooting for 2020. 2020 will make the Alaska road trip, and we're going to go up on the on the Alcan and return on the Cassiar. And that's the plan. How about uh, based on the state? 
a video guide based on states made from your existing videos. Yes, I've, I've been thinking about doing that. Um, uh, maybe when I finish editing all, everything that I have uh, uh, right now pending, which is a lot. Because those, those videos are a lot of work. Cause I, I have to go through a lot of uh, footage. Um, but yeah, you eat fufu in Cuba? That's awesome. We eat it also. Yeah, fufu. It's... Uh, it's, you know, it's uh, like, like a puree made out of plantains, right? Basically. A pelican beak holds more than the belly can. Fun fact. A, a fly pelican. Living life of the go. That's your favorite. What was your favorite trip last year? The, 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 it's a solar eclipse uh, for sure. That had to be uh, the best uh, Let's do a collaboration. I can play the rhythm, acoustic guitar, and the piano. Yeah, sure, we can do that. And I'm going back and forth here on the on the older uh, 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 on the on the older comments here because Florida, uh, because uh, saludos, Florida, Florida key of outfitters, fufuco chicharrones. Need to stop by Virginia Beach. Teach me a little on Pro Tools in my Akai MPC. Yeah, sure. There's a learning curve to Pro Tools, like with everything else. It took me uh, a while, but yeah. Hey, man, 40-something ain't all. I'm almost 62 and I enjoy life to the fullest. Yeah, I'm say, I am I would say it's never too late, right? So I'm, um, I'm 40. I'm going to be I'm 46. I'm going to be 47 very soon, which is okay. Cruise, uh, uh, this Traveler Cruise America has specials. Yeah, the one-way specials. Uh, so that's the, my, my favorite video that I've ever made. Uh, has to be one of the keys, probably. Actually, no, the, the four corners. What, who am I kidding? And I didn't even have an RV yet. That's an oldie, but yeah, the, the, that, that road trip to, to, to the four corners, which I want to do again. I'm shooting 4K with more time and, and uh, you know, you know how it is. And we have 20, 120 uh, uh, people watching right now as, uh, at the 17 minute mark do you have do you ever get a strike on YouTube I just got one today for posting some phone shots from Monster Jam event nobody ever warning me for that kind of afraid in the for the future of the channel be aware I haven't gotten a strike like the bad strikes that, that they could ban you but I get um, especially not 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 as many on this channel but like on my older on my older channel the one that I that, that is for music. I, I I did get it's not called a strike. Let me let me look it up here real quick. Because let me go um uh, to my most viewed videos, which is probably the way to go because one of those is uh, an old video from Miami. Oh it's not it's not one of my here it is. And what they do is um they it, it says includes copyrighted content. And uh, let me show you how it looks. You see, ads might appear on your video. Copyrighted content was found on your video. The claimant is allowing their content to be used in your YouTube video. However, ads might appear on it, and I am not allowed uh, to, 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 you know, to monetize. So it's monetized by the claimant. That, that's as the, the worst that I have gotten. And by the way, I did that, that, mean, that song, if you see it down there, it's called Island of Dreams at the time I put it because this was originally part of a, a, a video podcast and that was supposedly pod safe music. It, but back then it was called the Pod Safe Music Network. And then, you know, you know how it is. Nothing is forever. Good afternoon. Greetings from Amsterdam, Uncle Robert. Hey, gosh, I'll, I, I can't wait to go to Amsterdam. Uh, and this year's European trip is going to be Finland, and next year I probably won't go to Europe, but the year after, for sure, I would, I would love, and Amsterdam, I've, I've been there before, but I would love to go again, for sure. How much of your videos do you do voiceover? Uh, all, all my videos I do voiceover, but what do you mean how much? Um, uh, I don't, I don't understand exactly what what you're asking, but yes, I, mo most of mo most of what I do is voice voiceover. Some you, you can hear the difference in quality when I'm talking in the camera and when I'm talking into my nice microphone here. How about a shout out to your music teacher, <laughs> music teacher? Oh man, I don't even remember her name. Uh, oh my, that was such a long time ago. 
it was still, this, this lady used to come to the house once a week and, uh, and teach me the piano. How about, uh, um, today is Noche de Cultura, un calle ocho. My wife and I are going, to, uh, you and Eliana should join us. Oh, that's right, it's, it's Viernes Cultural. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go, you know. Uh, I, usually when, when I finish these live videos, I feel like going out, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll stop by Casa Juancho and then continue uh, to, the, to the Viernes Cultural area, which is usually by 15th Avenue. Uh, so, yep. Strike like copyright strike. Oh, you got the real bad one, right? Like you get three and, uh, and uh, tap channel. The one that you get three and you're out. No, I've never gotten one of those. It's a wife's birthday for 18 minutes now. You need We need a song, Robert. Um, well, happy birthday, uh, uh, wives. Uh, I be wife. <laughs> I'll sing you a song uh, here as soon as I uh, read all these uh, comments. But happy birthday to you. Oh, that could that could hit me on a copyright strike because that that song is uh, is not public domain. Uh, contrary to popular belief. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna skip. If you if you wrote a, 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 com a comment and it's uh, and you want you want me to reread it, write it again because I'm not gonna go back right now. You do Alaska trip? Hit me up. I drove Highway One over four times. Uh, live in Anchorage. Lived in Anchorage over 30 years. Retire over a road uh, a road truck now in, in Virginia. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I definitely want to go to Alaska, and I've been to Alaska. What I did, I flew to Fairbanks, and I drove north. You know, but usually people don't do it in Alaska. People usually stay around the Kenai Peninsula and uh, and Anchorage and that area. No, I drove all the way to the Arctic to uh, Dead Horse on the Dalton Highway, which was an epic trip, by the way, awesome. And uh, I would love to do it. Uh, I need a better truck for that. Happy Easter! Any plans with your family? By the way, tomorrow is my birthday. Happy birthday, Jackie! And I don't, I don't have any real plans. I'm gonna go visit my mom and all that uh, probably tomorrow. But um, nothing special, you know. We'll just uh, celebrate. I I'll make some some food or something. As always, enjoy your videos. Have to go. Okay, Mike and Cindy travels. Uh, have a great evening. Have a great weekend. And happy Easter to you guys. Uh, didn't word it quite right, but you answered my question about the voiceover. Okay, um, Jim and Jen from James Gabriel. Uh, text me if you go. We can meet up. I'll, I'll buy you guys a drink. All right, Alex. I'll, I'll send you a text if we decide to, to go to uh, Viernes Cultural. Um, Robert, your theme song, song is addictive. <laughs> I must hear it uh, or go withdraw. Uh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm so glad you guys uh, uh, like like that song. Uh, it's it's incredible. Sometimes the, the simpler, the simple... I, I just came up with it in the shower. I just came out and, and in the phone I, I recorded it and and eventually recorded it, you know, in the, in the professionally. But um, uh, uh, what new RV did you decide on? I haven't decided yet, but the, the Pleasure Way Plateau XL TS is right now the favorite. I had some podcast on YouTube with podcast safe music, and I, and I got flagged. Yeah, I think I guess the podcast safe is not the same as YouTube safe. I don't know, copyright, it's, uh, that, that's why I'm writing now on my own music, you know, and, um, and, I, don't, and I don't publish it, I, I don't want to flag myself, you know, that, that would really defeat the purpose. Robert, how is your New England plans going? I haven't done much planning on that trip yet because I have two trips before that one and um, I, have to pl I haven't even planned those two either. Have thought about using a wind power for your trailer. I've thought about it, but I don't think I'm going to do it anytime soon. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to put more solar for sure. Greetings and happy Easter from New Brunswick, Canada. I can I want to go to New Brunswick. Uh, we'll wait for you in the Bay of Fundy in the fall. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Bay of Fundy will be the end of the trip. I'm thinking of going Bay of Fundy and then returning through through Quebec. Even maybe going all the way to Montreal. I don't know. Before next big trip, you should add one more solar panel and add one more battery. That way you don't lose power. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I'm thinking of uh, somebody wrote me on Facebook about putting two two uh, golf cart batteries. But definitely another solar panel on the roof. Uh, any brothers or sisters? No, I don't have any brothers or sisters. 
When do you say your CD will be available for purchase again? It's available right now. If you go to freemyrv.com or travelingrubber.com slash stickers, because at the time I only sold stickers, that's why it's called like that. It's available for pre-order, although I won't be, I won't have them here physically to ship them probably until the 12th or the 15th of, of April. Having seen your last video in Slap City, if I was Trump, I'd uh, North, I'd tell the Mexicans they are welcome to it. Uh, I don't know. Stop by Virginia on the way to New England. Yeah, definitely it's on the way. I don't know exactly. You know, I have, I, I, I've always wanted to visit Richmond, and um, I've always dr driven through it. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get close to the coast, but um, we'll see. We'll see. That trip is still. Uh, I have a very rough, very rough draft of what I want to do on that trip. Ever had any problems with sway while towing Minitini? Not, nothing serious, you know, especially when Minitini is lightweight, when I don't have a lot of weight back there, and a, a big semi-truck passes me, you know, it goes like, it goes one of this. And when it's windy, but I haven't really been in, in terribly windy conditions. When I was in Arizona and all those areas, it wasn't all that bad. Uh, Edwin Torres, my girl said she wants you to sing your famous traveling in my RV song, riding in my RV. Whatever I want to be. Thank you, James Gabriel. Uh, hi to your New Brunswick viewer. I'm originally from Nova Scotia. And I, I'm going to kind of rush through New Brunswick on this trip because uh, there's so much that I want to see. But eventually I want to spend uh, at least a couple of weeks. Uh, there, there used to be this YouTube channel, and I'm, I'm sure it's still there. I just stopped following them because they stopped traveling. It used to be called A Guy, A Girl, and A Camper Van. And they did a cross-country road trip in, in, in Canada. And they ended at the easternmost whatever point in, in, in Newfoundland and Labrador. And uh, that, that trip really inspired me to, to do eventually a, a trip like that, but go, go to like the, the most remote uh, places in in the eastern uh, portion of Canada again. Hmm. I don't know what happened there, uh, Tab Channel, and um, you can appeal. Um, a lot of the times you can appeal a copyright strikes. You can say it was fair use, which a lot of like parody channels do that. If you buy your, uh, if I buy your music, can I use it for YouTube videos and monetize the video? You just give me credits. Yeah, I suppose. Ileana of Romanian background? No, no, she's Cuban just like me. Uh, what is your hookup with Technomaria? Still on? Well, the, 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 yeah, it's, uh, it is still on. We've been uh, chatting back and forth, like Technomaria and I. But, um, you know, they want me to translate uh, for them. But the weather has been... We haven't had bad weather, but it's been windy. And they said, you know, the, if we're going to take the, the boat out on the bay to, 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 test, uh, to test it out, it, it, if it's windy and choppy, it would, it would be an unpleasant uh, uh, trip. So... But uh, it's, uh, sometime next week we'll probably uh, go out on the boat and uh, do a, a video together. And I'll translate because the, the, the main thing is that the, the mechanic he doesn't speak English and they don't speak Spanish. My condo is next to Sunset Grill, next to, oh man, next to the Seven Mile Bridge. Does Marathon still look bad? It doesn't look as bad as it did two months ago, but it's still, yeah, you can still tell, especially Marathon are just south of Marathon that the hurricane passed through there for sure. And even Isla Morada still looks kind of bad. And I hate what they've done uh, there, the, the, the RV park in, in, in Marathon, right close to the Sunset Grill. They converted into some, they're building some really ugly buildings there next to the water. Uh, Robert, say good morning. <laughs> yeah, cool, Ted Wong. Um, have you packed your wheel bearings yet? No, I have not. Maybe I should do that before the, the next uh, long uh, trip. When you pass through Fredericton, let's grab local L together. If you need any dental work, I'll do it for you for free. Oh, thank you, Radu. My, my teeth are okay. So far. Um, but uh, thank you for the offer. Fredericton, where would Fred Fredericton be? Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I like to, to do my geography. I have. 
Okay, so that's New Brunswick, uh, uh, Canada, huh? Okay. I'm going to put a star next to it. I'm putting Radu, uh, free dentist. Then, you know, I, I have to put, uh, you know, uh, notes everywhere because I, I, what's your musical background and history? Did, uh, how did you learn guitar? Uh, cool. well, I, I said it earlier, but I, I'll, I'll give you the synopsis. Right now, I, I had a professor and when I was young. Uh, uh, I, I learned the guitar when I was in my early teens. There was this, this guy who came to the house uh, once a week, and I learned the piano. She, the, there was this lady that I came to the house every week when I was like seven. Uh, and that's how I learned. You need to sell that awesome song uh, to an RV company. Best jingle ever. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get in touch with Go RVing. And maybe if, if Winnebago were smart, they would like uh, license it uh, from me. Robert, have you ever been up to Erie, Pennsylvania? No, I haven't, but uh, I might. Uh, in, uh, I might go on this, uh, this next uh, trip. Who knows? Uh, go go up to Niagara Falls if you've not been there yet. I've been to Niagara Falls, for, but from the Canadian side. I drove from Toronto, when was it, 2013. Uh, the Denver's. If you go to Eastern Canada, can you include more destinations than Paul and Lorena visited with, with the motorhome experiment? Um, yeah, definitely. I um, different destinations. Probably I want to go to some remote places and stuff like that. And uh, I've already been to to Quebec City and Montreal, of course. Uh, but I would love to revisit some of those uh, some of those cities because. Uh, I missed a lot when I went. Really, it was a rushed trip, like everything I do. Anyways, do you if do you stop at Virginia Beach? Got nice three sixty camera. You can have to uh, got a lot to go pro stuff. Just do use since I don't know how to edit. LOL. Also, full music recording stuff in case you need to drop a track. Uh, thank you, thank you, Dwayne. From Leeds in the UK. Hello there. And uh, you need to attend Camp, uh, Cape Britain Square Dance. Okay, New Brunswick. Definitely, uh, yes. I, that, that, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Man. Stay tuned because they're predicting another really bad hurricane season with four major hurricanes touching land. Oh, man. If I, if, if I had a dollar for every uh, uh, prediction, but... You always have to be on the lookout, of course. Uh, hey, that random dude on YouTube. You are that random dude on YouTube. <laughs> uh, this traveler, I think today is March 30th, not March 23rd. I guess you didn't change the data, but oh man, I forgot to change the date. I was rushing. I think I could do that now, but the people who, uh, who are going to watch it after the fact now. Thank you for that, Eric. I didn't notice. No, now it's fixed. <laughs> Where is Grandma Patty, Alex Cruz? Good question. Where's Grandma Patty? I haven't, we haven't seen her here in like in three weeks, at least. I was micromini shopping in Virginia Beach. The dealer there heard of you. Oh, really? Cool. You know, you know I, I think I've probably sold quite a few microminis by now. Especially, you know, one of these videos where I'm showing Micro Mini has hundreds of thousands of views. So, at least 10, I imagine, I've sold. Uh, what is your next trip in the RV? Next trip in the RV. Uh, does your wife like traveling in the RV? Yes, she loves traveling in the RV, as a matter of fact. Uh, beautiful drone images, thank you. Greetings from Germany. Germany. Since you're from Germany, I'm going to have a beer. We like caravanning in Europe and Florida, so we found your channel. Great way. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to go caravanning in Germany at some someday. I got I to gotta do it on that side. I just have to... Well, I'm going to practice now in Finland, but I have to get used to that cassette toilet thing. The other day I was watching the, the other... Uh, the motorhome experiment. Uh, he was... Uh, tinkering with his uh, composting toilet. I'm not sold on those yet either. Let's talk about Super B size RVs. What do you prefer, leisure vans or pleasure way? Pleasure way all the way, unless leisure vans comes up with something totally innovative. I, I think leisure has fallen behind in the technology 
uh, side of things. Uh, they, they have to they have to innovate, otherwise they're gonna. Uh, Rick and I may Clark. Bye, Robert. Gotta go. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too. And the uh, Nomadic Drifter, Drifter, hello from Kentucky. Hello, Kentucky. Hopefully, I'll be in Kentucky soon, by the way. How often do you do maintenance on the car, on the RV and your car? Well, the RV, whenever something breaks, really, I haven't done much maintenance. I do have to have a brake job and, uh, and the bearings at some point in my car. I change the oil religiously every 3,000 miles. And, um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I do. I just... I don't do a whole lot. I'm not on top of it like like other people are. OMG, I'm yeah. I'm worried about Patty too. She's she's she hasn't been here in in a couple of weeks. Um, Gator Dwight, uh, thanks for the great videos and fun journeys. Thank you so much. And I'm looking at the 2016 DS, 2106 DS from Fort Myers Beach. Yeah. What program do you use to create, edit videos? Final Cut Pro and the Logic uh, Five. No Logic Five. No Motion Five. <laughs> Um, the famous ale in New Brunswick is the Picaroons. We take you there. We'll take you there. We drive a 1975 GMC motorhome named Bertha. I love those GMCs. What was this guy that had Wanderlust Estate? He had one. I would love to. I mean, if I if I if I knew a good mechanic or was good at mechanics, I would love to have one of those vintage uh, GMC because they're not that long and they have those huge windows. It's, it's the, and 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 they last forever because they were built from scratch. As a motorhome by a car company, it's, it's not like like most class A's, which are built on a chassis, and then the the, the RV company makes um, uh, the body from, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Do you ever travel in caravans uh, with other YouTube creators? No, I haven't done that yet. I I, I would like to do it. Although uh, sometimes it, it is also fun to travel by yourself. Maybe maybe Alaska I would do in a caravan. I don't know. Hello, I love your RV channel, Jorge Toro. Right now I like, I mean like, Panasofki in Florida. Cool. Uh, almost pulled the trigger on a 2016 when I make a drop. 17, 5500. That's not bad. But need not have the dual axle like yours. Uh, is there really an advantage to dual versus single axle? Well, in the event of a flat tire, I'm sure it's it's a great advantage because you have the other tire. And uh, on the other hand, and I, I don't I don't have any any you know I haven't done any, like a, a real life experience about this, but they're supposed to be a lot more stable, and less sway. You know, it's uh, easier to tow, if, especially if you if you don't have like a like a very heavy truck. 1984 Fleetwood Pace Arrow Eleganza. Isn't that like the one in Breaking Bad? No, or that that was a was that a Fleetwood or a or a Tiffin? I don't know. How long do you <laughs> can you go before emptying the tanks? Uh, well, the black water tank I have never filled it up, and uh, I've I've been four or five days uh, with it, and I suppose I could last a week on the black water. Now the gray. And, uh, and I'm one of those people who have to take a shower every morning, so uh, the the gray will last me maybe three days, three or four days. And you know you have to wash the dishes and all that. So that's uh, in my my community. That's more or less how long they would last. Three or four days, the gray, uh, and about a week, the black, of conserving water, of course. Did you not? Uh, more take along your bike on travels. Well, I, I got scared about the bike because I, I I I heard and then I read that that rear bumper is not meant for that much weight. You have to like reinforce it. But I still have my bike rack and my bike there, and and, I, and I'm thinking of taking it, uh, especially on one of, uh, on a on a on a short trip. Maybe I won't take it to New England most likely, but on a short trip like to the Keys, definitely I'm gonna take it the next way. Uh, Kelly Clark, pleasure way have the great power management system AGS. It, the pleasure ways are very are very nice, and they have now the multiplex wiring, and they all have in the Truma uh, Aqua Go, and I believe they might be putting uh, even lithium batteries. So everybody's gonna start putting lithium batteries, by the way. It's and, and, and I I see a trend. Uh, RV manufacturers going that way. That they 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 talking about yeah the the Travato the Winnebago Travato just came up with a model that has lithium batteries, and uh, and prices are gonna go down. So eventually. 
Pleasure way are so popular. You have to order them from the factory. Very little, if any, dealer stock. So that means no decrease in the price. I know. But that's the one that, that I like. If, pri if, price, if, if money was no object. Now, when we're talking about real life and money, I don't know, because I'm not really thinking seriously about replacing Minitini yet. When the moment comes, maybe I'll settle for, even for something older. Who knows? Um, dual axle provides better stability and weight distribution. Yeah, that's that's uh, that, those are the words that I was looking for, but I couldn't find. Uh, uh, wow, nice video. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Love that what you're doing, man. You helped me plan my Colorado trip and soon my California trip. As long as you make videos, you got to support it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Rutamala. And Nomadic Drifter, uh, Drifter, I see your Mammoth Cave shirt. Uh, that's where I'm now going back to... Yeah, man, Mammoth Cave. That was a great uh, place. That was a great uh, RV park. No cell signal, but they have a very weak Wi-Fi. Um, a breaking bad was a Fleetwood uh, bounder, same company, different model. There you go. Yeah, I know it was a Fleetwood from the early '80s, but uh, I wasn't sure. I noticed that you have no Pennsylvania sticker. Um, no, because I haven't really been in Pennsylvania now in the in, the, in, my, in my road trip to the to the to, to the northeast to, to New England. I, I'm going to be at uh, go to the Pennsylvania the, the Hershey Pennsylvania show, and then I'll be able to. To put the sticker because I've been through to Pennsylvania, I've driven through uh, Philadelphia, but I have this kind of loose rule: unless I do something significant or sleep in in the in the state, I, I don't put the sticker. I just kind of cheated with Alabama. Was it Alabama? Yeah. Uh, I like the old 1995 Winnebago Brave 23 foot class A RVs. Only 23 feet for the class A. They fit about um, just about anywhere. Yeah, the, that, that brave. Yeah, that that's the one on the on the Toyota chassis, right? Isn't that a class A? Class C, I mean. Maybe they made a class A as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I know. Uh, you know which which one I like too? The Rialta. Rialtas are very nice. Do you have a thousand trails membership? Uh, no, I did have a, the complimentary one when I bought the trailer, but uh, as long as I'm not full timing all the way, it's it's really not worth it for me to have it because I'm 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 not able to take advantage of it. And here in South Florida, there are there's one thousand trails RV park, which is uh, Peace River, one that I could get for free. There are a bunch of Anchor properties, but did you think of trading Kia on an, for a Nissan truck four by four V six? It took 6,000 pounds. I thought about getting the, the Nissan... Is it the Frontier? The smaller one. No, it's not the Frontier, is it? Uh, I'm reading ahead. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of Kia for the next two years, probably. I'm going to keep it. You know, besides, it's, it's part of my, my logo, my trademark. So I would have to, you know... Uh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. It's 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 still doing a, an admirable job towing the trailer. Uh, what are your thoughts on the portable waste tank? Yes, it's and I, I'm thinking of getting one because it's very important, especially if you're staying at a like a state park that doesn't have full hookups. You can dump the dump it there and uh, and take it to the dump station. Yep. What beer are you drinking? Remy Love, I'm drinking Funky Buddha from uh, Oakland, Oakland Park, Florida. We'll follow Technomaria on land when they do the Great Loop Tour. That would be cool, but no, I'm not going to follow them. I'm going to follow them on YouTube, of course. Uh, can't wait for the meet and greet in, in Hershey. Yes, definitely. Uh, me too. I'm probably gonna be there Wednesday through. I forgot what days I told told them Wednesday through through Saturday or something like that. Don't forget good Sams. Yeah. Uh, Class C has a conventional van front. Yes. Mm, uh, well, you need to come to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Get that sticker. Yeah, I know. 
Hello from Orlando. By the way, uh, Alex Cruz was telling about Good Sam. I'm a Good Sam asso- uh, affiliate. So if, if you guys want to purchase Good Sam, just go through my link, travelingrobert.com slash Good Sam. And, um, and eventually I'll get uh, a commission on that sale. So if you want if you want to support the channel that way, uh, that's a great way to do it. Pennsylvania has some beautiful areas outside of Crumbly, Philadelphia. Yeah, definitely I want to see Lancaster and uh, the Amish country and the countryside. And of course I want to go to Philadelphia too. I like to do cities as well and see the Liberty Bell and and uh, you know all that you know, all the historic stuff is a very historic city uh, of course uh, Robert do you know uh, one of your center tail lights on your Kia is out yes I know I've seen the video and I haven't been able to 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 find that part I have to I have to disassemble that and see what kind of bulb, bulb it is um, uh, James Gabriel no pets no no pets at the moment and um uh, do you know if you pay less for a trailer if you buy closer to the manufacturer? I guess you would, in theory, you could save on the on the delivery fee or something like that. But uh, I don't think it's that that big of a price difference, to be honest. Uh, Kia should sponsor you. Yeah, maybe they should give me a new Kia. <laughs> uh, salute, uh, uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is a wonderful camping area. Yeah, that that as well. And enter it. Sorry, I'm late. I had to pay my car registration. And enter it was the first to pre-order my new CD. So, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I agree with you, uh, this traveler. I don't know if that's appropriate. Don't forget to run up the rocky stairs, of course. And I go para pa. There's the ghost, another copyright strike. Oh, brother. <laughs> you know, I, I sometimes I feel like like playing commercial music. I don't know. Other channels do it, and I don't know how, how they do it. If if you play less than a certain amount of minutes or seconds, if it is okay. But when I arrived in California, I, I felt like playing Tupac, you know, California. You know that song. Uh, if I'm traveling out west this summer, do you recommend the good Sam Auto RV Club in case of breakdown? I never, I've never had to use it before. I mean, yet. <laughs> but um, if if you need a, a tow away, I, you know, they usually know your trailer, they know your rig, and uh, it's better than just calling AAA or Geico. In in that sense, and I think they will tow your trailer to the nearest uh, RV park that has uh, a vacancy, and they'll tow your 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 car to. Uh, but I have I've knocked on wood. There's a lot of wood here, so I'll knock on all of them. I, I haven't had a, an, an emergency, a medical emergency with old Kia, but Kia is old, so it's going to break at some point. I'm being realistic. Uh, but yeah, Winnebago should sponsor you too. Yeah, I, I've spoken to them actually, but I, I, haven't, per, I haven't actively pursued it either. So, um, Noreen, you should get it. What should Noreen get? Uh, brother, let me go here. Oh, my internet is so slow. Maybe because I, because I'm streaming. That could be it. One hundred and eight and eighteen people watching. That's awesome. Okay, the yeah the the, the of course the good Sam. Yes, <laughs> I'm so slow today. Yeah, I have good Sam, the 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 the, the club, and I have the the emergency roadside assistance. Both uh, looked and found the air pressure monitoring system with more. Craig Christensen. Uh, yeah, that 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 is a very good uh, tire pressure monitoring system, and I st- I have the old one there. I might raffle it one of these days or or sell it to 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 one of you guys. Uh, or give it away as a, I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet. I have the old one right there listening to the conversation. You'll have a lot of sponsors if you keep it up. Salute. Thank you so much, uh, James Gabriel. The, um, uh, Bruce Prentice. Uh, I pick up my new 23-foot Rockwood trailer next week. Your videos have been influenced. Oh, congratulations. And... Um, Enjoy that trailer, man. From Pancake and her faithful servant, Craig and Kendall. 
uh, excited to get it when it released. I got my sticker and put it on the RV this weekend. Uh, congratulations. Uh, talking about stickers, I, I, I made a couple of changes to my Patreon. I'm going to talk about it uh, as soon as I finish with all these uh, messages. If you go to Gettysburg, uh, Gettysburg, go to Harper's Ferry. Very historic, beautiful, and has a great KOA. Or you can stay at our house. Cool. Thank you, Kelly. Are you a Spanish? The uploader. I was born in Cuba, in the island of Cuba. And yes, we speak Spanish down there. And uh, good morning to James Gabriel. Uh, do you know how many miles you have put on Minitini? Actually, I do have a an Excel worksheet here. It's it's not it's not updated with my last two trips to the Florida Keys. But as of uh, as of uh, when I returned from from the West, I had twenty six thousand miles, three hundred and seventy one. 26,000 miles. Yep. That's how many miles I've towed. Uh, uh, where are you broadcasting from today? Well, I'm in Miami, Florida. Uh, hey, Robert, from Dave in Fairfax, Virginia. You said in one of your old Florida key videos that your next RV will be something like a Class B style van, so you can pull in everywhere. Is still the case? Yeah, that's still the case. Uh, although I'm thinking of maybe something a, a slightly bigger, like like the like the pleasure way I was talking about earlier, the XLTS, the Plateau XLTS, and in the California video, which you haven't seen yet, only the pa the patrons and a few people have seen it. It's coming out tomorrow. Uh, I I see uh, one of those uh, pleasure ways just pulling into a regular, not, not a regular parking spot in a parking lot, but it was a regular parking uh, lot. And uh, that's exactly what I would love to do, serendipitously. I like this place. Let's just park here, find a parking that, that has a couple of extra feet. And Red Jaguar 100. Hey, Robert, are you planning on doing any more upgrades uh, to Mini? I, I don't have. I don't plan to do any. May, maybe for that uh, New England road trip, I'll, I'll add a second uh, solar panel. But I don't know because a lot. I'm not gonna be boom docking a lot on that trip. To be honest, so uh, I don't think I'm gonna do many more upgrades. It's it's fine the way it is right now. Actually, maybe maybe a Wi-Fi Ranger that that I might do. I'm gonna be talking to the Technomaria folks about that. Um, the dates of the RV Pennsylvania, well, the RV show. It's in mid September. I don't, I don't recall exactly when is that. You can just go uh, Google Hershey RV show and you can find it. So that trip is going to be from mid-September to late October, most likely. Uh, Joel Candela Rosa, have you ever been to Maggie Valley, North Carolina? Beautiful place. It does ring a bell. Maybe I've driven through it. No, I haven't been. No, no, I haven't been through Maggie Valley, I don't think. Uh, C.K. Taylor, I watch your video every day. I have a camper. Cool, thank you so much and congratulations. Uh, Michael G, saludos desde Chino Casino in Atlanta on the road. First trip on your travel trailer. Well, man, thank, uh, congratulations. And uh, Chino Casino, of course, uh, we have a, a friend in common there in Atlanta. And uh, hope to see you. Hope to see you when we drive up. Um, going down to, down to minus 20 degrees Celsius for Fahrenheit here tonight, which I was in Miami too. Oh, man, that's kind of cold. I don't think I've ever been that cold. You do a really good job on your videos. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Ted. And being uh, enjoying your videos very much. Have many great destinations added to your list. Thank you so much. By the way, Robert uh, from Alex. Flamingo was nice. Lots of wildlife to see. The beach is nothing to rave about. And they are fixing things up after Irma. There's a nice little kiosk to get uh, snacks until 5.30 p.m. Yeah, when I was there a while ago, they had like a like a food truck kind of thing. But the way, how were the mosquitoes? Uh, try Lake Will 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 Lock be in Vermont? You won't be disappointed. I, I'm gonna have to write that down. Actually, let me write that down real quick here uh, before we continue, because I'm gonna forget. And that's Lake in Vermont. 
So we just save it as a start place here. And that way, oh, that's way north. That's like really close to Canada. Cool. Uh, okay, Bay Button, Hershey 912 through 916. Yeah, I was, I was close. Uh, nomadic drifter I, drifter, I like your video intros. Your voice over sounds so exotic, like a fancy beer commercial. With fine Corinthian leather. <laughs> the Lost Sea in Tennessee uh, is an underground cave. Oh, I would love to do that. The Lost Sea in Tennessee. I'm going to look for that too. You know what happens? Um, uh, I, I, I mark all these places on my map. And... The <laughs> Then I forget why I marked them, which is funny. But uh, uh, over 26 miles, you get those wheel bearings checked and packed. I think I'm gonna Google like how to do it because I'll, I'll, here in Miami, it's very hard to get work done on, on a trailer. If I was in Mesa, Arizona, oh, I, I, it's like every corner, but here is different. Uh, Jennifer McDaniel, Robert, you're such an inspiration. I'm, I'm glad, man. I'm glad, Jennifer. Uh, it's uh, it's very humbling when people say things like that, you know, because I'm just I'm doing this because I love uh, doing it. Not mosquitoes that day. Oh, that's great for because it was nice and cool with slight breeze. Yeah, if if it's cool and breezy, usually the mosquitoes don't show up. But um, yeah, the Everglades. I mean, we're, we're, it's unseasonably cool here in Miami these days, but uh, any day now, Mother Nature is going to turn on the furnace, and then it's it's hot until November. How did you... What? Rajagua driving your rig and also flying your drone. Well, out in the desert... It was uh, one hand on the drone, one hand on the wheel. There was no traffic, no, no, no danger there. I was driving actually a lot slower than um, I was actually driving a lot slower than I looked on the video. I usually, I accelerate those uh, those drone uh, videos. But in, when I did it in the Florida Keys, Eliana, my wife, was driving the the rig, and I was driving the drone. That was that the, the picture, the, the, the new picture that I've been popping, you know, ev eventually everywhere that's going to be my new picture. I'm going to get rid of the, the Monument Valley picture in my, in my branding everywhere because I like the Florida, the one from the Florida Keys better. I don't think you pack your bearings. You should have a grease fitting behind little rubber cap in the middle of wheel. Okay, apparently the dude on YouTube was misbehaving, as our our moderator, this traveler, has put him on, on timeout. Okay, and I never got to see the message. Uh, what kind of Mac do you use? I have an um, older, not, not it's not that old, it's about five years old. It's like five years old, just time flies, the older you get. It's a MacBook Pro. The, the, it's the first one that they came up, they came up with... Uh, with the retina display, which I believe if I if I look here in about this Mac, it's a MacBook Pro Retina mid-2012. So yeah, it, I'm overdue for a replacement, but I, I don't like what Apple is, is doing lately with their Mac. I, I don't want it, I don't want the thinnest and lightest and the sexiest. I want more ports and more power and sharper screen. You know, they should it should be a 4K screen by now. And uh, for God's sake, give me a USB, regular USB port. What's wrong with them? Um, let me know and I'll help you pack the grease. I have plenty of tools. All right, Alex. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll take you up on that. We'll, we'll, we can make it an afternoon project. Um, how much is the red coconut for a waterfront sp spot? It's, it's over 100. Not, not a lot over 100, but it's uh, more or less. I think I paid 80 for that almost a, a waterfront spot. What is your favorite eating place, places while well, on road trips? Well, I try to find like local places, you know. But like in, if I'm in California, I'll go to 
uh, in and out, of course. But uh, I just blanked out, I'm sorry. I don't really have a favorite place. I usually cook in the RV as well. In this last trip, I cooked a lot in the RV. I didn't go out as much. Since I was by, my, by myself uh, in the, in the, to the West uh, trip, I didn't go out as much, just uh, when I didn't feel like... How does La Quinta idea go up? Uh, when does La, the La Quinta idea go up? I mean, the La Quinta video pro is, is this Sunday. Hey, Florida Explored. Any April Fool's pranks in store for the family this weekend? I also hope to have a wonderful Easter. Uh, I'll come up with something by, by Monday or when is it? No, it's Sunday, Easter Sunday. This is the Easter. <laughs> Easter is April Fool's. I don't know if uh, it's, it's kind of a strange coincidence. Uh, what's your most favorite campground in the Keys? I like Boyd's, but I, I really can't wait to go to Blue Water. I've heard Blue Water is like the ultimate. They give you your, your own tiki bar. So, um, uh, yeah. I hate when people complain about the heat when you live in paradise. I miss living in Hollywood, Florida. I lived there for 12 years now. Here, for in cold Erie, Pennsylvania. Maybe you forgot what August is like down here, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I complain about the heat, yeah. August in Florida is hell. Uh, got to get ready for our bonfire tonight. Good night. Good, God bless. All right, Nomadic Drifter, Drifter, good night. Have a great weekend and a blessed Easter to you and, and everybody with you there. T Ted, my, my dad, mom, drove up to Erie and to Niagara Falls back in 1991. I wasn't born yet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you do a live guitar concert for us that are uh, live? Who agrees with me? Yeah, I'm going to do a... Um, uh, I'm going to play something at the end of the video for sure. El Maison de Pepe, yeah, in, in, in Key West is one of my favorite places. Although the last time I was there, the service wasn't all that great. Oops, sorry. That beer. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 I'm not used to talking so much. I, I live in Brazil. Here there are a few places to travel with RV. In the USA there are many places, but I know that in, in Brazil they sell uh, the Micro Mini because I've seen videos. I agree, I have a 2017 MacBook Pro and I hate having to use dongles to hook up the the uh, HS, HSBs. Yeah, I don't, and I don't like that stupid little bar, I don't know. I'm gonna see, in, in June they're supposed to come up with new machines. If, if they don't come up with something spectacular that I like, that because I need to replace this machine at some point, I'm going back to Windows, most likely. Although I don't like Windows either, so we'll see. Um, I agree on live course. What kind of drone do you have? It's the Mavic Pro as well. It takes really great shots, although in California I had it in the wrong setting the whole trip. But it still came out pretty good. I, I live in the heat here in Tampa. Love... I, I I like Florida, but I don't like I don't like the summer in Florida. You, it's, it's impossible to be outside unless you are like in a pool or in the on the beach. Happy Easter to obsessive compulsive Compuls compulsor compulsive. That one very cool. This traveler. All right, everybody. Well. Uh, how, how long have we been uh, having fun here? One uh, one hour and three minutes. And uh, 1991, the year I was born. Well, 1990 is the year that I graduated high school, so figure that. Uh, Windows 10 is great, no issues. Yeah, uh, Eric, but the thing with Windows 10 that I see everybody complains about it, you know, uh, restarting, uh, you know, spontaneously uh, whenever it needs to do an update. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm... Uh, editing software choices are limited. Well, there's if I move, move to Windows, I'm getting Adobe Premiere. There, I mean that, that that's the the standard, and uh, I, I might even get it before I get Windows, just because they have a, a Mac version as well, so I can start practicing. Because it's going to be a learning curve for sure, and uh, and I have to be pumping out videos every week, you know, for you guys. Uh, hi, Tio Robert. Like me and wifey refer to you jokingly. We went last week to Key West and visited your spot. Saludos desde Tampa. 
All right, Jonathan. That's, it's, I, I hope you had a great time in Key West. There is no restart uh, issues, none that I'm experienced. Okay, I'm, I might give it a try. I, 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 I'm for, for editing videos. I'm gonna have to get a hefty uh, uh, Windows machine, but it's still gonna be cheaper than than a MacBook Pro. And Red Jaguar 100. Thank you so much. Uh, for that super chat, twenty dollars for my next RV trip. Thank you so much. That that'll that'll definitely cover gas going up. Uh, I seventy five for sure. Uh, Louis Cohen, July, August, and September. You mean I live in Sarasota County and it rains three times a day? What well, rains? I suppose you mean. And then it shoots back to ninety eight. That's what sucks. The humidity and the heat. Not so much. Not so bad is the humidity. Yeah, the humidity. And it rains, you, you know, in the summer it rains every single afternoon here. It's, and it's not just rain. It's a thunderstorm with, with thunders and it gets dark and it gets windy and it lasts half an hour. And then the sun comes out again and all that water evaporates. And, uh, and it's 90 and it feels like 110. But, you know, Catella Harbor, thank you so much for that super chat. I really, really, really appreciate you guys and those super chats. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I just have no words. Uh, Tap channel, I've got the Mavic, the iMac 2017 5K and it's super fast. Uh, I bought some extension box, USB-C, uh, can read and works fine. Yeah, but I want a laptop. Uh, I, wanna, I, I don't wanna, uh, um, you know, like this old iMac, that's my old iMac. I don't wanna, a computer, you know, a desktop. I want to have a laptop so I can also have it semi-portable. Uh, this traveler will discuss Windows 10 in the future. Yeah, we should do. I, I, I when I when I worked uh, downtown, I used to I used to work on Windows 7, and to me, Windows 7 was outstanding. But I haven't had much experience with Windows 10. Um, Premier jacked up the price. Was not happy about that. Is 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 Premier still like 20 bucks a month now? Something like that. For like the whole uh, Adobe package. I'm already paying for Photoshop, so might as well. Live in Port Charlotte. Hate summers too. <laughs> Your song is catchy. Run through my head every night. Uh, that was a fast hour. Take us, uh, take us out with some tunes, Robert. All right. I will. If anybody has any, any more questions, of course, we can stay here a couple more minutes. I still have a bit of beer here. As it is our, our custom here on Fridays. Windows 7 is a solid plat flat platform. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they still sell computers with Windows 7 or even if 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 the new programs like like Premiere would run efficiently on Windows 7. Also, for for those of us geeks, the, the one problem with with Adobe Premiere. A lot of these Windows computers, they have two uh, video cards. One that is like the one to save power, like they, you know, just for regular stuff. And then there's the one like for gaming, which is usually an AT, a Radeon uh, or, or something like really, really, really hardcore. And that's the one that Adobe Premiere wants to use. But I think you have to disable the 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 sim the the the, the, the not the the simple one. Let's say. In the in the BIOS of the computer, otherwise Adobe Premiere will only see the the simple. I, I don't know if I'm explaining myself right, but it's 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 a, it's a complicated thing uh, sometimes. And some of these laptops uh, that have dual video cards would love to hear a 5.1 surround mix of your music. I could do that. I think I have a surround capabilities. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If pro, I don't know. No, I don't have. I don't. I'm, I'm not able to monitor surround here. So I don't know. Uh, signing out. Enjoy your night, y'all. All right, Eric. This traveler. Thank you so much for being here, kicking out uh, the trolls. I appreciate it, man. I have a good night. I hope to see you in Calle Ocho. Yep, I'm. I'm going to. Uh, I'm. I'm probably heading that way in a few. 109 people watching and only 64 likes. Come on, people, hit the like button. Hello, thank you so much, Ted Wong. And thank you so much, Jolcan de la Rosa, for that super chat, 49.99. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I really, really appreciate it. That's uh, certainly uh, um, awesome. I bought last uh, of your nice HP laptop for 1300 with 4K display, and it already requires a format or something because it's restarting so slow. Yeah, I don't like HP. 
If if I do, I'm gonna get a Dell Precision uh, workstation or or uh, an alien or some a gaming PC which is it has uh, that souped up a video card for sure. Uh, basically, YouTube cartoons. Okay. Good night. Okay, you're very welcome from fellow YouTuber, musician. Love your music. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank. Uh, happy Easter. Okay, everybody. Happy Easter. Oh, Johnny C is here. What's your next trip and how did the Crystal Mon work out for the Mavic? I haven't I haven't gotten it yet. The the Crystal Mon and uh, my next trip. Actually, I haven't talked about that, and uh, since you guys uh, are still here, I'm going to uh, keep talking about it. I, it's not written in stone yet, it's penciled in, but I might go with my mom up to, to Louisville, Kentucky in a couple of weeks. In, uh, in, in about two weeks, exactly. I have to wait for certain things. I have to wait for the CDs to arrive here. Um, uh, the, the day the CDs arrive here, I'm going to ship whatever I have sold, and then the, the next day, we're driving north. And that's the plan if everything goes well. Uh, we're going, uh, yeah, Louisville, Kentucky, and we will we'll visit the things that we haven't visited yet on the way, along the way. My new laptop is that way. I had to go into settings and force Premiere to use gaming graphics. Uh, yeah, Android. That's, that's the, the problem that I've seen everywhere. And uh, some of these laptops, you don't have access to the, to the BIOS setup, so I don't know exactly, um, you know. Well, I'm not going to wait until this one dies, but uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Went to Mammoth Cave in 2013. Yeah, I might pass by Mammoth Cave this trip. And we have the trips of Elder and Leticia. Hey, brother, when can I see you to buy your new CD? Well, the new CD is going to arrive here probably in about uh, two weeks. That's uh, what uh, disc makers said. I made the mistake in, 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 order, in order to save some money. I opted for the, you know, not the fastest shipping, because you know, uh, you know, my, I, I wasn't in a hurry. So it's gonna be like two weeks. Have a good evening. Looking forward to the next video. Thank you so much. And Joel Candela Rosa, thank you so much. It takes time and money, and enjoy getting the heads up where I'm going. Thank you so much. And um, and uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm glad I got your show, Helen. Thank you, and I'm glad you did. Welcome, welcome here to to our conversation tonight. And uh, happy Easter and God bless you. The trips of Elder and Leticia. It's, he's an, he has an, a, a travel YouTube channel as well. He's bilingual. He puts the videos in Spanish and in English. Something that I haven't done. So, what's your budget for the laptop? Is it really going to be cheaper than the MacBook Pro? Well, if I get a MacBook Pro. Let's be honest, it's going to be over $2,000 because you don't want the base model. You know, you want to add a little more uh, um, hard drive space and what have you. And they're expensive. If, if, a a well-appointed MacBook Pro would be like $2,500. And uh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's more or less what I paid for this one, uh, you know. But you need you need a, a, that type of computer to 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 be able to edit on the win on the Windows side. I'm I'm sure you can get it for under two thousand for sure. Um, order, ordering a CD, great music for a IPA and a bong rip in my RV on Cape Cod. Uh, Genesis still ten dollars for the CD. Yes, it's ten dollars uh, in the US, twelve Canada, um, and uh, fourteen. I think I, that's what I put it. Uh, overseas, and uh, and if you want to get it, is if you know you know where it is, travelingrobert.com, and just click on merchandise or free myrv.com. Um, sing me a song for it's your birthday, Jackie Trujillo. A good place is uh, the name is pronounced Hulken. What did I say, Jolken or something like that? Okay, Hulken de la Rosa. Uh, I want mini tea in love. God bless. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy your beer. I'm enjoying mine. And uh, great Easter. Uh, uh, Genesis still ten dollars for the CD. Yes, great Don't, drone work. That thing is awesome. Happy Easter. Let folks know how they can get your music on CD. Well, the CD, and I'm gonna. I have actually can show you. Here, 
Just go to Chrome. Well, this is the page. Okay, if you if you go to Traveling Robert, this is uh, what you see, which actually I, I have to redesign this eventually because it looks like kind of um, out of uh, 2001. But then you can click on Merchandise here or here. It doesn't matter which of the two. And that'll take you to this page, which is, uh, if you look uh, up on the, it's travelingrubber.com slash stickers. Also, you can click on, you can type free myrv.com in your browser. And it'll take you here to this page. Can you see the page? Yes, you can see the page. And um, then there's a drop down menu here for the countries, USA, Canada, or other. If you're in the USA, click USA. And then just add to cart. And that'll take you to this PayPal uh, page in which um, uh, you can buy one or two or three or four or ten, how many, however many you want, and then you check out pay with PayPal, or we can pay without a PayPal account, just check out and put your your credit card and whatnot. And that's all that's that's all there is to it. And of course there's also my sticker and my, my t-shirts if you wanna get those two. But that's the new CD, and if you want to see which songs are on the CD, go to CD Details, and I created this page with the with the track list, just uh, so you know what you're getting. A lot of it is, some of them are repeated, but I didn't want to make a CD with just 10 songs, so I wanted to fill it up with all, um, all 20 tracks or 80 minutes that fit on a regular CD. So that's why some of the tracks are repeated, because I wanted to, you know, fill it up. And that's uh, that's it. Also, CD Baby, of course. And uh, if you if you want to buy it digitally, anywhere, it, it's gonna be on, on on iTunes probably in two or three days. The one in iTunes and everywhere is just it just has the, the six new tracks. Um, I, I'll send you my my address. Yes, like before, definitely, Johnny. We'll we'll do that. Um, Free my RV hoodies, not yet, but I'm going. I'm going to have them. It's it's so many things. <laughs> Sometimes I forget, but yeah. Although I wasn't crazy about the quality of the hoodies that the the, the one that I've got that you that you've seen me wear, it's it's kind of faded. It's not the, the the whites are not so bright, so I'm not sure if I'm going to. I might order a new one. Maybe maybe it was just a one off. I'm going to get a CD soon. Love your songs. Thank you so much. I would like to buy a hoodie with my CD. Let me let me see. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna check out uh, if if I can if I can sell the hoodies and how much they would be, and uh, I will let you guys know in the in the next uh, video for sure. All right, Johnny C. I will do that, and uh, now I'm gonna go because uh, we've been at this for one hour and seventeen minutes. One hundred and seven of you watching, so you all have a very happy Easter. And uh, which song would you like to hear? Uh, let's see. Oh, this computer is... The fan is going full-blown. Full that's the thing with this old computer. It's, uh, and this, this program that I'm using to stream, uh, it does uh, consume uh, quite a bit of... Um, can you hear me okay? It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's heavy on the computer, this program uh, that I use, OBS. So, um, thank you for ignoring me. I have been ignore ignoring you? Amazing how you guys make a living on YouTube. Yes, we do. Some of us do. Oh, this camera. Decidite como fue, no sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Because I'm free 
in my RV. I still have a bit of a cold. Um, uh, have a great weekend. Uh, happy Easter. Uh, and I'll talk to you next week. Same time, same YouTube channel. <laughs>